overflows. Be in a moment. The mind always lives either in the past or in the future. It cannot be in the present. It is absolutely impossible for mind to be in the present. When you are in the present, the mind is no more because mind means thinking. How can you think in the present? You can think about the past. The past is past has already become the part of the memory and mind can work it out. You can think about the future because it is not as yet, but mind can dream about it. Mind can do two things. Either it can move into the past. Certainly there is enough space to move. The vast space of the past, you can go on and on. Or the mind can move into the future. Once again, there is a vast space with no end to it. You can go on imagining and dreaming till the end of eternity. There is no end to your dreaming. But how can mind function in the present? It has no space for the mind to make any movement. Present is like the dividing line, like the line of control between two countries and nothing else. It has no space. It is simply dividing line. It divides past with the future and it exists just as dividing line. You can be in the present, but you cannot think. For thinking, space is needed. Thoughts need space because they are just like things. Thoughts are subtle things, but they too are material. Thoughts are not spiritual, although we think, because the dimension of spiritual it starts only when there is no thoughts. Thoughts are material things, very subtle, and very material things needs space. Matter needs space. You cannot be thinking in the present. The moment you start thinking, it is already gone. Suppose I give you a cup of tea to taste. When you are tasting, your expression on the face will tell whether you like the item served to you or not. Then after you have consumed, I ask you to write a review. So it is part of the memory part of the memory because the present moment is so precise. If you see the sun is rising and you tell someone what beautiful sunrise, it is already gone in the past. When sun is rising, there is not even a minutest space to say how beautiful. Because when you say those two words, how beautiful, the experience have already become the past. Mind always knows it as part of memory. But exactly when sun is rising, exactly when sun is on the rise, how can you think? You can be with it. You can flow into it. You can pulsate with it. How can you think? You can be with the rising sun, but no thinking is possible. For you, there is enough space, but not for thoughts. 
you see a beautiful flower in the garden what you do you immediately pick up your phone to capture the flower and tell your friend what a beautiful rose flower i just saw and i am sending you the image now you are not with the rose in that moment when you saw a beautiful flower or a beautiful scene you went into the thought process of capturing it and sending it to your friends or posting it on your facebook timeline instead of being there was an opportunity for you to be in the present moment that will transform you but you are happy capturing that moment into your camera and posting it on the facebook and then you will wait for the number of likes and with the number of likes you judge your work what a beautiful flower i just saw and i will mail you the image now you are not with this rose this moment it is already a memory when flower is there you are there both are present to each other how can you think no thinking is possible then what can you think how is thinking possible thinking is possible only when you are not with the flower is the moment you saw the flower you remember your friend so you moved away from the friend from the flower to the friend there is no present you are not present thinking is possible only when you are not with the flower there is no space for it the space is so narrow in fact there is no space at all and you and the flower can even exist you and the flower can exist as two there is no space there is no space at all that you and the flower can exist together that's why kabir says when i was god was not when god is i am not only one can exist and if seeing the flower thinking begins it has become immediately part of the past that is why in a deep presence you are the flower and the flower has become two both have merged into one another and that's where the transformation happens both you and the flower are thoughts in the mind when there is no thinking who is the flower who is the one who is observing you are the observer the flower is the object and in between there is observation so the observer <coughs> has become observed suddenly all boundaries are lost suddenly you have penetrated into the flower and the flower has penetrated into you suddenly there are not two one exists in that moment what sanatan sanskriti calls advait happens non dual the duality means you and the flower exist simultaneously both you and god cannot exist simultaneously either you are that i am or god is you are non dual in that moment <coughs> advait has happened enough
Warum auch?